make a new thing, you know, using using that influence, and that's exactly as it's supposed to be. And it, it's scary that a lot, of, there is a kind of a gap, there is a gap, because I don't know the age group here, but um, if, even if you're, if you're like in your 30s, let's say, um, you still grew up with the Looney Tunes. I mean, it's in the last 10, 15 years, that, I mean, yes, periodically they'll run Looney Tunes, but they really run them a lot less. They still run Tom and Jerry, but that's it. I grew up watching Fleischer cartoons and Woody Woodpecker and all this, the history of animation was on our TV screens, so it was, you know, it was, it was easy to absorb. Uh, students today don't have that. Um, and someone could say, uh, yeah, it's all on the internet. <laughs> you know, if you don't have somebody to show you what it is or tell you what it is or guide you to it, you have no idea. It's great that it's on the internet, but um, you need teachers. Like my God. You need people, curators, yes. You need people to point them towards you. And you can, and, 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 and you know, it's a rich history and there's so much to say about it. I hope I didn't skim too fast on some of this. To me, it's, this is a reader's digest of what of what uh, we can talk about when we talk about these these studios and this aspect of, of the history. Like I said, I do 15 weeks, and each one is kind of like this. It's like I, I, I can do 15 weeks on each one. So um, uh, you know, and I know I'm talking. Sometimes I talk too fast. Anyway, is there another question? I just want to make sure.